All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. So I just wanted to take you guys on an adventure with me. Today was the um, boss reset and I figured let's just go through this together so I could talk to you guys and then just, you know, talk about everything that's been going on throughout the week. So think of it as like a mini podcast with bosses on the side. And we're just going to be doing level five bosses because all the people who do like sevens weekly tell me they don't get anything better than six, really. So, yeah, we're just going to go through all of them. And let's see. Uh, I don't know. What what auras do we have first? So we have blue from last time. All right. So we'll do. Let's do the three blue ones and then we'll do two other ones. So bamboo legions over there. Um, let's start off with a warm-up five. Oh yeah, I should probably buff up while I'm at it. But yeah, how are you guys doing? You guys got anything good this week for the weekly boss rewards? I sure didn't. And... Yeah, are you guys looking forward to all the new changes, like the new Marnie Realm changes, the grind spot? Um, I don't know. I actually wanted to talk about that because everyone is either like, you either like it or you don't. There's no middle ground to it. And you know how they're going to be changing the Marnie Realm to like regenerate every other hour? So like you do an hour and then the time runs out and then two hours later it's regenerable again. I overall think that's a good thing. Now, keep in mind, this is coming from a person who's pretty geared and like the duel for spot stuff, so whatever. And for all of you who say that there's not enough open world content, is like, how much open world stuff are you really doing these days, like right now? And honestly, most of the time you're doing stuff solo, whether I'm on my main or whether I'm like on an alt character. It's pretty rare that you see people out in the open normally. So I think just being able to have multiple hours of Marnie Realm is just overall a good thing. It helps the new players and especially when they do like different mechanics for different grind spots. For example, like the new Dekia stuff, right? I know that Dekia doesn't work in Marnie Realms, but the fact that like, let's say someone wants to grind regular stuff and someone pops the lantern suddenly now you can't do it for a while and so that's like one of those things but even then like i don't know i just overall think it's a good thing for everyone uh hold on let me actually find an empty spot to get a villa buff i forgot to like get everything set up i was actually gonna do an hour of grind at ash for us we might just do that later it's 11 30 p.m right now um, so in case you guys are wondering what I use for crystals and everything. So this is my artifacts. I use um, Death Blow, which is considered best in slot for... Well, Dark Knights in particular. I think a lot of classes Death Blow is the best in slot. But I use extra AP against monsters and then magic accuracy. I use the accuracy because I grind higher end spots that require it a little bit. And um, so I do need it. But I think for a lot of other people, if you just want double... AP against monsters is probably the way to go. And my crystal setup is for bosses. You guys can watch my crystal setup for all of these. Uh, it's another video. And basically, back attack damage is pretty nuts. And yeah, you kind of want that. So, um, starting off with the easy warm up. Fari 5, actually, if you are an Awakening Dark Knight, this one is a lot easier for you. So, let's see. Do I need any other buffs? Uh, how long do I think this is all take? Probably like 30 minutes total. I, I'm not going to pop. Uh, that's whatever. I'm not going to pop buffs of this. We're just going to get it done. Let's see. Got everything going. I really wish you could actually use elixirs and stuff once the fight starts. But you can't. I actually hate that. Like, you know how when you retry the higher difficulties? Like, 
you have to watch the cutscenes again. It's like, what's the point of hitting the return option and retry when it does the same thing? And then this one in particular, it's like you're hard locked into it. So basically for the higher fights, all you do is stay on her as much as you can. Listen to a little bit of the other dialogue and then this actually is one of the like most annoying bosses just because like she just keep keeps moving. And so th yeah, this is one of the ones where awakening is a lot easier. And if you play a Wusa, basically all boss blitzes are easy mode. I kind of wonder which developer was like, yeah, this boss is fun. Let's uh make a boss just teleport over and over. So people don't people don't do anything. I kind of want to tag a Wusa just to do all this and see what it's all about. And if you've ever done the other fights, like the Sangoon one, um, has a little bit of that, plus Gumiho. That was a bad time. I just, like, I screwed that one up, but it's fine. Rank 5, done. Next. We actually did 6 for that one. I actually really like this boss. Songashi. It's one of the ones where I think it actually has fair mechanics. A lot of these other ones are just like one shots if you don't iframe it. The other ones are just like actual mechanics where if you do it right, you're good. But if you don't, it's done. Everything else is can you iframe correctly. I do like the Sangoon one, the tiger. That one's like a weird one for me. Hmm. Don't want to do six. What do you even get from six? Difficulty six and up. Debereka earring, like a chance to get it. When are they going to give us more auras so we can. People can do like eight to ten. And I think for the sake of just. Uh, we're just going to do regular five. I know you probably can't see anything. All of this is actually just a pattern, and once you figure out that pattern, up until like the 30%, most of the mechanics are the same.
I really hate when she stands by these branches because you get stuck on them. If you're looking to do number six and you're wondering how to do the pattern, like when you find the hidden one, uh, basically you look in really close and then you see like where it is. I guess I can show you after this one. Generally, once you teleport, she's going to just be behind you in most cases. Once she gets under like 30%, she just kind of does like the big AoEs over and over. Pretty sure she's going to do it again. Probably going to do one of those black hole thingies one more time. And then when she starts fake crying, um, that's when you just get out. a new time eh, 337 well the thing hasn't reset from last week yet so eh, it's not bad all right if you guys want to see number six and just i could show you how to go about doing the uh cry phase but then i'm just gonna wipe after that so it's actually not that bad Sometimes I mess it up, but like I could at least show you how to do it. So for Dark Knight, what I usually like to do is keep my Twilight Dash on ready, because when she does the thing, I like to just be able to get out quick. I just want to get it to like the 50% phase. Did you always do that the first time. Could move out of that or just uh, try to high frame it.
The what you look for is the one with the full or the HP bar that is basically the same. So this is the phase. Here's what you do. Find the one that's crying and looks different. Oh wait, maybe not. Maybe it's after. Okay, there it is. So yeah, you see the one, you'll see like they're all crying normal tears and then there's one that's like red tears and that's the real one. Yeah, so she's gonna do a lot of the AoEs now, so just keep your keep alert. Dang. Saw that too late. Anyway, that was basically it. What I wanted to show you how to get through it. Alright, what's next? Um, We've done... Two of these. I could do Bamboo Legion, but that's so far, so far away than compared to the others. Um, I could do Duoxini, Golden Pig. Uh, man, I'd have to change colors for all of them. Let's go do Bamboo. That one's an easy one. I kind of wish they had wells for this area. So I could travel between the villages. Also, I think I'm going to do another Ash Forest video soon. I think what the goal for August is, is to grind up a lot of Debarekas, keep saving Cronstones, and then we'll do one big enhancing session one day. And I'm going to try to buy like a Tet. And I assume like my RNG is not going to be good. So I'm going to buy a Tet and then... Hopefully, you know, it would be nice to one-tap it. <laughs> but, if you don't, that's cool too. Duoxini is just, like, right here, though.
God for a Pegasus, man. I can do dumb things like that. This is actually a very difficult one on six and seven, from what I've heard. All right, let's go change our auras. I really wish this is just an all in one. Like, is it really that much of an annoyance? Like, I don't know. Just add a well, and I think I would use it more at the same cost. Uh, Duoxini is green. Oh, God. I, I have no idea if nighttime actually affects this. See if I could just one tap this. Okay. So we gotta kill ads now. It's usually on the right and left side. One of those two. You know what's really dumb that most classes can't do? Like the AoE to clear the yellow flames and then the white ones. Like the yellow one or the, yeah, the yellow flames heal them again, right? And then the blue one's just AoE fire. Need him to move. I don't actually know. I haven't done this one enough to know which one is the real one. Or do you just kill all three? I could have done that so much faster. <sighs> These times are nuts. This is my last one. 317. Beat our time by four seconds. I think it's just knowing like when to burst and when to move back. But starting, maybe elixirs also do help. Um, okay. Next. I still want to... I actually might do... 
Juxini, five. That one's kind of annoying, though, to do. Um, Golden Pig. I don't really understand. Like, I, I get it, but I at, at the same time, it's kind of weird. All right, hold on. Um... I, like, the green ones are actually the hardest ones for me, in particular. Let's do reds. I think one day I'll do, like, an actual hard push and then we'll start doing sevens and we'll do like full elixir rotations and everything but maybe they'll buff the rewards again and actually make them useful or like not a chore anymore because like we've been doing this every week right and you guys probably have seen this. Like, this is my elixir rotation. I even have an extra flame, and it's not even getting one from an RNG. It's me collecting 500 of these twice. I'm just doing it every time. Also, I kind of hate how this boss... Like, you have to go up and down the stairs, and it's kind of annoying to do. Uh, we got red auras, right? Okay. So, the trick to this boss is you stay... Like, the mechanics, not really a trick. It's, um... Staying inside his fire ring, and what I see people doing is, like, bringing him to a wall. Wait, I think something is... Hold up. I don't think that was five. He did too much. He took too much damage. I hate how you have to watch this scene, even though you skip it. Like, okay, I guess. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, is it three? Admittedly, I don't have too much experience with this one either. I don't know how many iframes I have to do. Like, two. So basically, what you do is you just stay in this ring and you're good can't leave too many times or he just one shots you and that's the game over mechanic i think this is the one where a succession might actually just be better probably shouldn't do that He's not facing against the wall. Okay, so there's two iframes. This is like one of the bosses I don't really like because, I don't know, it's just an iframe check. There's no real mechanics to it, aside from stay in the ring. Like the Songashi one is really good. Um, 
I don't really like a Moogie because it's just hard for Dark Knights, but it's like mechanically it's well done. Um, Gumiho is a really good fight. I like the concept of Bamboo Legion, but about it. Okay, it's in a really awkward spot that I don't. That didn't help anything. I need you to get away from the stairs. I think I'm gonna have to re. I might die. Back attack. That's not a back attack. I like how you can get up into from a knockdown directly into a stiffen. I hate how that works. Oh my god, just get this over with. One, two. At least the time my time was in the top ten. <laughs> All right, let's go wipe to bird boss again. I've actually never done this at Calamity Five because I just I don't think I really understood the mechanics and I. Just need to practice more. Last one for the week. Yeah, so we've done one through four, but I just don't understand five that well. If I can eat myself off. I hate how you can't glide down once you do that. It would be like shift W, D, and then Q, and then F, but you can only like glide down if you haven't done the flying part of it. Missed opportunity, Olibus. If you're looking for a tier 10, I truly do think the Pegasus is really just the best solo one. I don't really know what the tier 10 Doom does. I think my understanding of it is it summons two more. Like, two more Doom horses that you're party can ride which is neat but everyone just got a free tier 9 horse so it's like get your own <laughs> all right boys so we're gonna be doing this for the first time at calamity 5 admittedly i don't really understand the mechanics and succession dark knight probably isn't the best one i kind of want to see like I know you could do it, but let me see. What for other people? Um. Okay, yeah, so it's like a mixed bag of can you do it on Awakening and Succession for five? And then people just don't do sevens or six. Okay. We might wipe a few times, but it's a learning experience for me. This is my first time clearing it, by the way. So my understanding of the basics are you... 
dodge all the purple and then kill the braziers. I think I, I forgot to turn up my effectiveness. Oh well. Uh, hopefully, like even with max effectiveness or effective quality. in the second phase of this is uh continue doing this over and over this is a burn phase and then don't get hit phase i should lock my hundred phase And then we repeat. How do you know which one is open? Dude, those tornadoes. I'm not even sure what happened, to be honest. It's kind of like 100 to zeroed. Was I supposed to kill like the big one faster? I'm not really sure. Wasn't the smartest play.
I don't know what the timer is to burn. But apparently we did it. So for this phase, you kill the things, but do you have, do you have to kill the ad or is it a burst boss phase? Why it kind of sucks using elixirs on this one. I don't. It doesn't even explain the mechanics. I just kind of get hundred to zeroed. I have to watch this over and over. So they're coming out of that side. Did I get hit by a rock or something? <laughs> Is that what got me? We will look for like the ground and not get hit by a rock. I don't know where I'm going. This isn't a burst phase, right? Is I not supposed to stand in the middle? I love trial and error bosses instead of it saying something.
It's like there's a few things where I think I know what the problem is, but I'm not sure just because it happens so fast. Is it like, am I in a phase where I'm supposed to be bursting the bo or DPSing the boss down, or am I just not killing the souls fast enough? Am I getting hit by a rock or something that falls out of the sky? What should I be targeting? So those black things on the, the puddles on the ground don't seem like they're good. Clearing it at roughly the same amount of time. Oh, am I supposed to like get the big ones? I literally don't understand. I can get into the second phase, but then I'm not sure where things go wrong because it just happened so fast. says be like yeah i'll just hit everything including the objective all at once okay so rocks are falling don't want to be under that Okay, so we got one of them of the eight, I believe. Uh, 
Oh, so we have to kill the big shadow one by them to unlock the... That seemed to work. How many more? Oh, got one more. All right, let's go. Should open up because the tiger shadow got clapped there. I assume I wasn't supposed to stand in that. I see. Well, we try it again. Frenzies are dropping in price. What happened? I think I just need some uh, HP recovery, but I mean I could use like a Grim Reaper and it'd be like effectively the same thing. I, okay, so I think I understand it. What I died to was I dashed into... I dashed into, like... The shadow thing in the ground? I think that's what got me. I'm not 100% sure. There's just a lot of stuff happening on screen. Okay, that didn't mean to do that. Okay, so basically don't stand in the black lava, whatever it is, darkness. Ooh, that was not a good time. So we got to kill the big, big ones by these to open the, the gate, I believe. So this is safe right here. Next.
Seems like bad. I don't really know what happened, but we did it. Okay, so here's how I think this is this works. So we got to the second phase relatively easily. Like that wasn't a problem. And what I understand is you have to kill like the big thingy near the soul that that's on the side. And then you do that basically four times while dodging everything. And, um, eventually, like, you do that, but then maybe, like, the black mist on the ground is bad? I'm not really sure how that works. So someone might have to explain the mechanics to me for that. And then, yeah. What was my time? 401 for doing it the first time. Okay. Okay. Well, good news, boys. We got that done for the first time. We get anything good out of a rank 5 bundle? No, of course not. But anyway, thanks for joining me on this journey. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll practice more next time, but I just want to mostly, like, actually learn how to do these and get the other fives done. So, yeah, I want, I actually, I think this is a cool fight and the mechanics, like, after I understand it, it's fine. But this is just a lot of stuff happening on screen. So, I wonder, I don't know, when there's only one person that does Calamity 6 in a week, that's not, or for Dark Knight, that is. That doesn't give me a lot of hope, but yeah, we did five and for our first time we would have made top, or rank six, but that's my boss blitz for the week. Uh, I could definitely improve on these times, but overall, I don't think anything really matters. We'll just do the other ones next week. I think our goal for next time is Attempt to Gumiho 5, and then maybe 6. Uh, Sangoon is just like one of those things I have to watch a few times. I don't really like this Amugi fight. It's good in terms of mechanics, but man, it's just like not Dark Knight friendly. Let's actually, actually see how many people... When you do 5 and there's only 3 people that can do 5, and each one is 7 minutes... Alright, look, Calamity 5, Dark Knight, three people. Calamity 5, we're, we're, Woosa, ten people. I hope Pearl Abyss watches the, or like, looks at these leaderboards and is like, okay, so more people can clear it on these classes, but not many on these classes. I wonder why. Bro, Sage didn't even have any B5s done last week. Oh my god, one person for a Moogie 5? Oh. Holy, dude. Nice. Where Zerkers at? I actually heard they're buffing Awakening Zerkers in the future. What is Megu? How is Megu doing? 
I wish they sorted this dumb thing by alphabet or something. Yeah, Megu's a crack. What is this time? Four and a half minutes. Yeah, okay, well. We learned something new today. We learned how to do this fight at Calamity 5. I'll, I'll try to do some of the sixes next week and or other ones. But until then, thanks so much for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. Before we head out, I just want to say there's like about three days left on our affiliate code for our support at creator event. So if you're thinking about buying any pearls, use my code John Law. It's not case sensitive and I get a small portion of whatever you guys spend. So I'd really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed all the videos I've posted throughout this event and you stick around for more. So with that said, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.